What is operations management? In any organization, operations management is the function that gets things done. A customer wants to buy a product or a service. To make this product or deliver this service, a firm uses a specific process that converts inputs into the desired output, the product or service the customer wants. The input is a combination of resources, such as material, manpower, equipment, facility, and capital. Operations managers design, operate, and improve the process to meet various market requirements. While capital is the responsibility of finance function, decisions on the other resources are made using OM tools and methods. A firm's facility houses its operations, Facility decisions determine the long-term capacity of the firm. A variety of OM tools are used to find the best location for the facility and to design the layout that best serves the process used. While a facility is a fixed capacity component, equipment and manpower are the variable capacity components. Operations managers make short- and medium-term capacity planning based on varying levels of equipment and manpower utilization. Material flows almost continuously into a firm's process. Operations managers control this flow from suppliers using various inventory management models. To ensure high quality of output, operations managers use various methods to monitor the quality of raw material, work in progress, and finished goods. These OM decisions can be categorized as strategic or long-term, tactical or medium-term, and operational or short-term. While operations take place within a firm's boundaries, most decisions require information flow across boundaries. Operations managers use historical demand data to forecast future demand. Based on the forecast results, operations managers prepare an aggregate plan a medium capacity plan to match capacity with expected demand for groups of products. Operations managers then break down the aggregate plan into detailed short-term schedules of material requirements, workforce, and equipment utilizations using MRP and scheduling techniques. An ideal supply chain management links the point of consumption with the point of origin through at least one integrated process or OM tool. Information sharing of demand data is a typical example of such integration. Hopefully now, you'll have a better understanding of what operations management is.